gusty winds in excess of 70 miles an hour in the gorge and 40 miles an hour in Portland. And tonight, a high wind warning now in effect lasting through tomorrow's commute. At 11 o'clock, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianolo. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. We have team coverage as the winds are really whipping still out in the gorge. Our Cole Miller was out there earlier, but tonight he's live on the roof of the coin tower with more. Cole? Well, Jennifer, Jeff, good evening. I got to tell you, even 32 stories above the city, it is nothing compared to when you head out east where those east winds have been blowing relentlessly, nonstop, all day, really. And tonight, there will be eyes on that Eagle Creek burn scar where the worry is trees could come crashing down. Those wind gauges whirling. Highest I've gotten to 75. Along with hair as visitors brave the breeze up at Vista House. It's fun to come out to see how truly strong the weather is. Bobby Corser is with the Oregon chapter of the American Meteorological Society explaining what drives those powerful east winds in the gorge. Press, kind of funnels in and then it explodes out and uh, this is the windiest spot usually off these type of events. And all day long people just kept on coming by to get a taste of it for themselves taking in that sunset. And tonight crews also keeping close watch over trees that have been scorched by the Eagle Creek fire. The fear is that this wind, these gusts, and they are strong, could send some of those trees toppling down onto roadways. And those gusts could reach up to 90 miles an hour up at Crown Point. Well, things are much calmer when you drop elevation, but if you're traveling along I-84 or SR-14 over in Washington, you can expect winds up to 30 and 40 miles an hour with gusts up to 65 miles an hour, meaning for guys driving big rigs like this, it can get a little tricky. If you're light, you gotta go slow. If you're heavy, you're okay. He's got plenty of experience trekking through the gorge. Dennis Bonderchuk says use common sense and you'll be able to get around just fine. Uh, you want to pay attention. You want to keep those two hands on. You know, that's all I can say because they'll, they'll rock you over the line. You'll try to stay in between the lines. You'll be all right. Between the lines, you heard it right there. Now, this high wind warning, it is not over just yet. From the roof of the coin tower, let's send it back inside. Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stenbach. Natasha, what will this mean for our wind chills moving forward? 